Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wizard Wednesday. It's Mrs. Williams, your Taft principal. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020, and it's Wizard Wednesday. So let's start our day by standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And boys and girls, it's a delightful day yet again. Today, tomorrow, the next day, it will be beautiful out. So make sure you're outside enjoying that sunshine. Today is, oh, let's also do the wizard pledge. I just remembered, here it is. All right, so join me. Hold on, let me block out the, okay. As a proud member of Taft Elementary School, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and show self-control. Okay, there we go. So today is also what we call in this area Hudson Valley Gives Day. So Hudson Valley Gives is a day, it's only 24 hours when you get to give um, a monetary donation, which is money, to a local nonprofit organization. So there's a lot of nonprofit organizations that maybe you and your family already support, but I wanna put a little plug in for our Food for Kids program. Our Food for Kids in Washingtonville helps supply food for our families in need in our district um, and it's a lot of organizations in our community that work together so if you want to give you could go to the Hudson Valley Gives website which is hvgives.org and I'm going to put a link in the email so check your email for that link and feel free to give to any of the nonprofit organizations that you see in the Hudson Valley um, but especially for food for kids if you're in the Washingtonville area. So my acceptance quote for today it's, it's about acceptance of yourself, because you can accept a lot of things, other people, yourself, the situations that you're in. So today it's for you. It says, don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. So boys and girls, there's a lot of things that I can't do, right? Because we can't do everything, but I want to focus on what I can do not on what I can't do. So if I can't, like my husband shoots bow, if I can't shoot a bow, I shouldn't be upset about that. I'll find something else that I can do. Like I can ride a bike. So I focus on what I can do, right? So that's what I want you to do today. So let's read the next couple of pages in It Could Always Be Worse. So we are up to, so far, remember they lived in a small hut. The father was very upset. He went to the rabbi for advice. He brought some birds into the house. Then it got more chaotic. So we went back to the rabbi for advice and then he brought a goat into the house. And now this is where we are. I didn't read this page yet. When some days or a week had, pet had gone by, life in the little hut was much worse. Now with the crying, quarreling, clucking, honking and crowing, the goat went wild, pushing and butting everyone with his horns. The hut seemed smaller and the children grew bigger. When the poor, unfortunate man couldn't stand it another minute, he again ran to the rabbi. Goodness gracious, such chaos. <clears throat> Holy rabbi, help me, he screamed. Now the goat is running wild. My life is a nightmare. The rabbi listened and thought. At last, he said, tell me, poor man, is it possible that you have a cow? Young or old, it doesn't matter. Yes, Rabbi, it's true, I have a cow, said the poor man fearfully. Go home then, said the rabbi, and take the cow into your hut. Oh no, surely not, Rabbi, cried the man. Do it at once, said the rabbi. Oh boy, lots of chaos. The poor, unfortunate man trudged home with a heavy heart and took the cow into his hut. Is this rabbi crazy, he thought? Boys and girls, what do you think is going to happen? Now he's taking a cow into the hut. Oh dear. When some days or a week had gone by, life in the hut was very much worse than before. Everyone quarreled, even the chickens. The goat ran wild. The cow trampled everything. The poor man could hardly believe his misfortune. At last, when he could stand it no longer, he ran to the rabbi for help. 
So what do you think? So do you see how every time he thought that life was terrible, it got worse? And then it got, then he thought that was terrible. Then it got worse. And then he thought that was terrible and it got worse. So I will finish this story tomorrow. Goodness gracious, boys and girls. So I hope that when you think things are rough, that you can always think it could be worse, right? So our national days for today, um, not only is it Hudson Valley Gives Day, but that's not national. That's just in our Hudson Valley, that's locally. So nationally, it's Pick Strawberries Day. Oh, that's my creaky porch. So pick strawberries. Today, this is the time of year when strawberries are coming into um, picking season. So make sure you go outside, pick some delicious strawberries. And if you ever go out into, you should go to a strawberry farm. But if you ever go out into what's behind me, into the woods or outside, never pick and eat anything without checking with an adult because it could be something that's not edible. It's also rescue dog day. So you obviously know I love dogs, um, but it's time to rescue a dog from a pound or from um, a shelter. So it says that every year, 3.3 million dogs enter into shelters. Um, if you can't adopt a dog, because it does take a lot of responsibility and work to adopt a dog, then try to help out in some way by you know, donating blankets or towels or food or money to the local shelters to help those dogs. And the food for today, it's juice, juice slush day. So make slush out of juice, like frozen juice, and then mix it up. That sounds delicious. And it's also quiche Lorraine. I don't know if you've ever had a quiche Lorraine, but quiche is made with an egg custard and a crust. And a quiche Lorraine is usually made with bacon and cheese. So who doesn't like bacon and cheese? So this is Mrs. Williams on Wednesday, signing off from Archer in his L-shaped position. He loves that position, right? It must be a good stretch for him. Good boy, Archer. He's so calm. And there's his dirty bed. And the boys, Pip and Squeak. I have to change your cage today. There's Squeak, there's Pip. So boys and girls, enjoy your Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow, enjoy that sunshine. And don't forget, Hudson Valley gives. Bye.